guys and welcome back to our channel if you are new here we are the mcknight twins my name is abby my name is emily yes we switched sides you guys know if you're not new we always do this for get ready with us videos because we got good and bad sides yeah and they're extreme and we're not just being dramatic yeah that. if you have a bad side you know you, <laughs> you know, know the struggle so. so emily and i are here on thanksgiving day to get ready with you babes and do our makeup with you and chat about some things there's some some tea. There is some tea, and we did also talk about a project that we're working on that we really want to your hear guys's help your guys' thoughts about. Yes. But yeah, it was not too crazy. I feel like we were kind of like we were really tired. We I'm did not so sleep tired well. Tired this morning. We did not I sleep well, so our energy was like, maybe not the best. Um, and I hate that. But we still want to post this because I know you guys have been asking like for our current makeup routine look that we've been doing in all of our videos. So we tried mm -hmm. to do that for you guys. And use some new products, some tried and trues. We mixed it up for you guys. But as usual, this video is going to be kind of a long one. So grab a snack, grab a drink, get cozy, and let's chat in the comments about a few topics because we asked your guys' opinions about a lot of things and we really want to know because Abby and I just kind of talk to each other about these things and we feel like you guys are our best friends. Yeah. Because all of our other friends don't really keep up with the influencer tea, um, besides like Laura. She's the only one we talk to about yeah. this. But we need to know your guys' opinion because the tea is boiling on one of these things. <laughs> and then some sad stuff, which we didn't really want it to be negative. But well, it's we not also, negative. It's, it's not news. negative. It's news. But it's yeah. horrible. Terrible um, news. Yeah. But anyway, let's chat in the comments because we're going to want to know what you all have to say. Yeah. But if you guys want to see how we do our makeup and hear about all this tea we're <laughs> talking about, then just go ahead and keep watching. We look pale. Yeah, which is crazy because we faked tan last night. My arms don't look pale, but my face does. I feel like it did not stick to my face at all, which is just That's okay. That's wild. what makeup is for. We're going to do our best to explain what we do while we talk. If you're new here, Abby and I love to go on tangents and talk a lot. So these are kind of chaotic. So yeah, if you're are. here for like an in-depth detailed tutorial this isn't the video for you yeah usually we take these videos to catch up with you guys and talk about stuff that's going on mm -hmm. in our lives and just like social media and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah. so but i already primed my eyelids with tart shape tape and then set it with translucent powder now i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow liquid filter in the shade medium four this stuff is so good it's such a great dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. It's like pretty much the same thing. I just mixed two skincare products. Just because my face has been so dry lately from the cold weather. It's been freezing here in Washington. And my skin is definitely feeling it. So um, I just primed my face with the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. This has SPF 50. And it has antioxidants and soothing plant extracts. And then they actually just sent me their new line, which is their um, sensitive or their calm line for sensitive skin, which is amazing. I don't know how I got on their PR list, but I don't, I'm mad that I'm not. Anymore. Abby's not on it, but I am. Like, I'm the esthetician, <laughs> not you. I know. I think it's because like they were. I remember actually they sent me an email, and you're like, "That's not them," and I replied anyway, and then now I've been getting PR. I don't so. know. I'm always so skeptical of scams. I'm like, is yeah. this a scam? Because we but had scammers. I also mixed it with the Rescue and Repair Intensive Moisturizer. So that's what I started with. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Blur Jam to prime my skin. This is like a pore filling primer. Oh, it has like a really weird consistency. It says it's silicone free, but it just kind of like fills in your pores. And like blurs out your skin. Nice. So, um, and I'm going in with my Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. This is like my favorite palette ever. Um, and I'm using this shade right here, this light brown, to put it all over my crease with a big fluffy brush. Are you starting with your eyes? Yeah. Oh, I always like start with my eyes and then go in with my face and then go back to my eyes. I just I saw a TikTok from this makeup artist saying people always start with their eyes and they should start with their face. No, uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start with my face. I like, especially because I look crazy right now and I can't even like. I just do like the basics myself. with my eyes first. My skin is having a moment. I usually have really good skin, but for some reason, dude, my back is already hurting. Out. We literally just started. <laughs> my back is not okay from. Aging and lashing is just so 
do lashing so yeah i can't even imagine everything hurts from lashing if you're a lash tech how did you get through the pains in the beginning because i'm struggling and i don't know how people do it full time okay now i'm just taking the color next to patrick tall the shade darker and i'm just gonna work that into my crease now kind of like focusing on the outer corners okay i'm gonna mix the nars and natural radiant long wear foundation with the dior backstage face and body um i love both of these foundations and i tried mixing it the other day and i actually really liked the way that it looked so yeah, and I've also been loving using a brush to apply my foundation instead of a beauty blender. I like to use a brush and then go with, in with the beauty blender after to like soak up any extra. Mm -hmm. so yeah, no, I do that at the end too. Yeah. Like I blend it out after I've done the base with the brush. Yeah. So we're filming this on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a good one and enjoyed your time with your family. Yes. We are excited to eat some good food. I know. Jake is such a good cook. Abby hit the jackpot with him. He does everything. He does the cooking, the cleaning, the shopping, everything. Yeah. He woke up at like 6 this morning and was like getting the turkey in the oven and stuff. And I'm just like, wow. No. And I went to the He's gym the this best. morning, which is crazy. But he was up and I was like, what is he doing up so early? He gets up early every Thanksgiving and Christmas to like put... He makes like prime rib for Christmas and then like obviously turkey for Thanksgiving. He's just, he's my wife. I'm, I'm, <laughs> he is your he's wife. my wife and my husband and one. That's hilarious. He really is. He takes care of me. He is <laughs> one of a kind. I, I will know. tell you that. So I made a TikTok last night about how I just don't understand the tradition of people going out and getting drunk the night before Thanksgiving because... Why would you want to ruin Thanksgiving with a hangover? Like, I love to go out, trust me. I'm trying me, to think like, if we've ever done that. I have never, I don't, I don't think, think so, yeah. No, no, no thank you. No. I, like, that just does not. Hangovers just so are the worst, and I don't want to ruin a good day. And I guess the bars are, like, super crowded because, like, it's such a tradition. So I've been trying to stop drinking as much as I was this summer. Oh, same, <laughs> and it feels so good. It feels so good. So I've been back in the gym again. I've been mental like mental health is yeah. improving. Oh, yeah. it is. Yes. For yeah. Sure. I feel like we're both much happier. Yeah. More motivated. Mm -hmm. Um, what I just did, so you guys know, is I mix. You guys, this is my like favorite lid, like glittery combination. I don't know why I'm like having a hard time coming up with the words, <laughs> but I mix this one and this one and with my finger. I just go back and forth, and then I pat it all over my lid. I don't know if you guys could see but it just is such a pretty pr like topper it's like glittery but not obnoxious i feel like it's just so stunning i love this palette um we have to talk about something with you guys we were saying <laughs> we're like oh, you guys this should we talk about it because we kind of feel bad like i don't know it feels like we're gossiping but it's already public info so like i don't want to like spread the bad news but also i'm like this is like crazy tea you guys it's so if crazy. you maybe you've heard of, or maybe you've heard maybe you haven't but there's this influencer that emily and i have been following for a really long time i actually really love her her name is gracie Piscoco. she's got so many um followers on instagram and she's just been one of those like og influencers in australia mm -hmm. she's gorgeous she has a perfect little family little boy named romeo he's so freaking cute um and she's been with this guy andre for years probably yeah. what like i think it's like 10 eight, years I, think, I thought it was like oh, eight a long time a long time yeah before we continue foundation i am using the nars natural radiant longwear foundation and van okay medium 3.5 i can never say it i just use a huda concealer in coconut flakes and I'm just going to put that all over. But anyways, so she's been with him for a long time. And I always thought they were like the sweetest, most innocent, kind of shy, like influencers. Kind of awkward, like shy to themselves. Like they didn't yeah, post very that private. much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they were just gorgeous. I feel like that's why they're so big. Just because they're absolutely like. They have a perfect little family, you know. Yeah. And Gracie's obviously like, she's a really photogenic. Takes really good photos and whatever. Um. She's actually provided me a lot of inspo. Mm -hmm. And Andre, her man. I don't know. We don't know if they're married or not. Because a lot of the tabloids are saying husband. But a lot of like 
the other articles are saying boyfriend girlfriend but i feel like they would have showed their wedding engaged. pics yeah they would have showed their wedding pics I feel yeah like. they're definitely not married because i think her her instagram would have been gracie pair whatever his last name is but anyways so andre the news just broke that andre has been taken into custody for his mother's murder that happened in 2020 so i guess he is being you know charged, charged with, with murder. murder and fraud because he apparently poisoned his mom well no not poisoned her so she was already sick and she was taking medication so the rumor is that he messed up her medication on purpose to like Horrible. offer Ugh. I don't know. And then there's also, um, I just watched some more TikToks this morning while I was on the treadmill about it. Oh, and more information? Well, this one was saying like it was a domestic case saying like there was violence. So like someone said maybe he pushed her down the stairs in an argument or something. I don't know. His mom? Yeah. Like there's just, there's different speculation going on now that like, oh my God. I don't even know what's going That's... on, but it's supposedly 35 counts of fraud. Which what? is insane. Yeah, he forged How his... How do you even have that many counts? Supposedly, he forged his mom's um, life insurance policy. 35 times? No, no, no. <laughs> Those are different things. I mean, he did cryptocurrency. Who knows what oh. fraud he was in with that. But, yeah. So, lots yeah. of fraud and potential murder of his own mother. So, he's probably going to serve the rest of his life in... No, prison. I guess, like, in Australia, the life sentence is 20 years. They wow. don't have a full life sentence. What? Yeah. That is the craziest thing I've I mean, ever heard. I mean, I mean that could be false. That's just what I saw on TikTok, so it's not but a no, reliable sir, source. But, but twenty years could be for the murder, and then another what five or ten for the fraud. Yeah, who knows? So he probably will spend a lot of his life. I just really need to know if she knew about this or like I what she's more. feeling, what she's I just, thinking. Obviously, my heart breaks for not only Gracie but for Romeo. You guys, yeah, like, that's so his sad. His dad is just not gonna be there anymore. That's what he's been so used to. But we don't know what's been going on. This is like another lesson that you never know who you're watching and what's yeah. going on behind the camera. You literally mm. never know. Yeah, these people could. They came across as the most like innocent. Well, I think Gracie is. I think so. I too. feel like she's like. I think so too. I think she is. But I feel horrible Andre, for her. I mean, I also did get weird vibes from him. And Abby was always questionable about their lifestyle. She's like, I know, I know they're influencers. Was but I? I didn't. You were always like, how are they affording their lifestyle? Because they were always getting new, fancy, um, luxury cars and going on these insane trips, throwing these crazy birthday parties for Romeo. It just seemed like their life was very I, extravagant, and I just think for him life not is working cheaper in Australia. Her saying she was a breadwinner, we were kind of confused. I think that life is cheaper in Australia, so they're getting paid like what wouldn't get you far in America, but what gets you far in Australia. I could totally be wrong. Be wrong with that. That's just my guess. I don't know. It's just weird to it's me. It's so crazy, you guys. So let us know what you guys think. Do you think Gracie knew? Do we yeah, think that really she's know like? Think. Do we think that she's gonna get in trouble? Like. If she, she knew, in big trouble. She could get in big trubs. Yeah. And before I forget, concealer I'm using is the Huda Beauty Fo Filter Luminous Matte in the shade Coconut Flakes. And then the Too Faced Born This Way in Natural Beige. I just kind of mix the two. And that's what I use for a full you coverage. You do that all the time. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just did it again. I do that a lot. That's like one of my icks about Abby. We were going to do that TikTok ick. So I'm like, that is an ick. I don't really realize I'm doing it. And no, we're not being mean to each other. Gosh. I, we have icks about each other. <laughs> oh, we're sisters. We're kind of, you know, you're allowed to bully your own sister. I think that's a rule. You really are. Like, if you don't have a sister, you can't speak about it. <laughs> so true. You cannot. And that's why people are saying, okay, so like, I don't want to get like dark and negative in this video. I feel like we always talk about some sad shit in these mm -hmm. videos but this is just obviously a huge thing that's being talked about on tiktok and all over the news and everything it's those uh oh. college idaho murders that just happened which is absolutely heartbreaking like my heart hurts, hurts. for the friends and the family and like especially Fucked the up. roommates that survived i can't imagine what they're going through yeah if they truly are innocent i'm like obviously want to know more because i'm frustrated that they called friends before like i want to know what they what happened what they saw but we what will, do you mean they called friends before they 
Oh, so uh, before they called 911, they had they summoned friends because they said their roommate wouldn't wake up and was unconscious. So they had friends come try and wake them up or something before. But I'm like, but if you saw the blood, so obviously, but people think the door was locked, so they didn't know that there was blood. But I was like, wouldn't there be blood everywhere? Because obviously, if you don't well, know what I'm talking about, they like were stabbed to death. Oozing out of the foundation or something? People, people were debunking that, saying that could have been like gas or something, like the house leaking other things. But it could also be blood. I'm not sure. They haven't confirmed or denied what that was. We we don't have a lot of information, just little bits and pieces because the police are obviously trying to... It keep everything hush hush but like dude this case is like haunting me keeping me up at night i'm sure as a lot of you and we live in washington which is extremely close to you know yeah. where these murders took place it's right on the border of washington so it's kind of freaky um yeah i think the bodies were taken to spokane washington for their autopsy yeah um it's crazy but and one of the the boy the only boy that got murdered was from washington and he was a triplet oh my which gosh. breaks my freaking heart because i know how strong that bond is twins triplets it's whatever like disgusting. you come into this world together and you kind of expect to have them your whole life that's freaking disgusting super, i cannot super messed up super heartbreaking but people are like accusing the sister so i'm saying like I really, what? I know she's like not showing much emotion on TV. She's very much in solve, like she's in the mode of like, I need to get to the bottom of this and I can grieve later is what I think she's doing. But I she mean, I think referred she... to her sister as like a mean girl and stuff. So people are like, why would you say that about your sister who just got murdered? But it's like, they were like, she was, she said she's a tough girl. She's a strong girl. She was a mean girl. She always like could stick up for herself. So she was trying, I think she didn't mean it in the way it came across yeah she was honestly, meaning like she would have no problem confronting someone if they were being weird i think i also think like in that in that sense like she was probably just in the mode of getting justice for her sister yeah and you know making exactly. sure that this person is locked up because that would be my 100 percent. that would be my biggest thing i'd be like why are this why is the killer still roaming the streets like yeah i don't know i, I would be fuming so i feel like i would just break down. Yeah. Oh, I don't think yeah. I would have the strength to like do all that. Which I, think I, I would do I'm both. I would respect her be doing so both. much. But I think I would just wouldn't even be able to face anybody. But everyone handles grief differently. I'm not judging her at all. I think yeah. she's actually pretty amazing for trying to, you know, put her grief, I guess, on hold. Yeah. I'm, we don't, and we only see her a little bit here and there. She's probably absolutely dying when the camera's not on her you know yeah seriously. now i'm just gonna set my concealer with the laura mercier translucent powder oh i'm using the soft glam palette by the way i just mixed orange soda and burnt orange to put in my crease i bought the natasha denona palette during the sale and i'm going to return it because as good as it is i just don't really think it's worth the price it was really pretty, but that's yeah, not worth it. It was price. expensive, and it just like, it blended well, but I feel like a lot of my other palettes blend just as good. So, I'm yeah. going to be returning that. I'm also returning the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. Did not think that was worth it. No, I liked the all. Maybelline one better. <laughs> yeah, so, that was random, but <laughs> just um, in case you're wondering about those two items, because I'm sure you guys probably thought I'd be using that palette in this video if you're... If you saw my Sephora haul. Yeah, but, I don't know. I feel like we're not too much of makeup snobs to care. Like, to have that kind of expensive palette. I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, I want to know what you guys think happened with the Idaho killings. Like, I know it's really upsetting and twisted and dark and terrifying. But it's something that's so interesting. It's so many questions there are so many questions that haven't been answered. I want to hear that 911 call so yes. bad. I feel like by the time this video goes up, it will be released, I hope. I hope, oh. but I don't know. It, it's been two weeks since it's happened, and they have, they have no one in custody. I'm going in with my elephant palette, and I'm using this bronzer. I'm still so obsessed with this little palette. I haven't ordered a backup because i'm trying to refrain but i think i'm gonna need to do that <laughs> before it's gone forever um also what was i gonna talk about oh i really hope by now mm, our decorate with us video is up but if not 
our camera was out of focus the entire intro and it was a nightmare it looked horrible so so we have to redo the intro and we have to show you guys the final result because that I forget how stressful decorating can be, honestly, every year. It was stressful. It was stressful, and then we had people coming over later, and, like, next year, I'm telling myself, no, we're not having anyone over the day of decorating. It's too much for me. You gotta dedicate it. Yeah, <laughs> it's dedication, and I am, a, like, perfectionist. I'm very picky and particular about my decor. So I was just kind of in a bad mood because <laughs> nothing was, like, going how I thought it was going to go. My foot's asleep. Yeah, same. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the two blushes. I'm gonna mix them and put them on the high points of my cheek, kind of so underneath good. my eye. Oh my god, my The butt. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder will forever be like my favorite face powder. I feel like I need to put my hair up because it's really pissing me off. So, should we just take a little break? I've been feeling so ugly the last like week because I haven't fake tanned. And I finally feel back to normal. Like, I, just, I didn't even have a foundation that fit, that like matched my paleness. It was so bad. I've been going through a phase where I just hate my face. Yeah. You know when you go through those? I'm oh going through one heavy right now. Speaking of, in the last Get Ready With Us, I showed you guys my teeth, how they were all jacked up from the Invisalign. Like, the side of my teeth went up. And you guys, they're getting so straight. They look amazing. Let me see. Hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. Let me show you guys. Look how much better. It so I have so a couple of attachments. These are so annoying and they're so ugly. But my teeth are now straight across. And this one still needs to come forward a bit. But I still have till January 1st. Um, that's when literally New Year's Day is supposed to be my last day. But my next dentist appointment is like December 22nd, I think. And I'm going to ask them if they can take all these attachments so I don't have them for Christmas and New Year's. Because I'm like, what's that extra week with the attachments going to do? I don't know. Yeah. They'll probably say no, but I'm going to ask. <laughs> because <laughs> no, but they look like they look like they're so straight. close. Yeah, by, by the end of next month, I feel like they're going to be straight, you guys. I'm so... Uh, relieved and excited because I thought I was gonna have to do it for another like six months or something No, but no, it's so just good. another when I went in for my refinements. It was four months now I really want Invisalign because I have one crooked tooth that really bothers me But I'm not gonna be satisfied though. I want like gum later. Yeah, I want that for sure I wish I could do bonding, but I'm scared of bonding because of like them chipping and stuff I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name of this, but I have been obsessed with this face trace contour stick um, obviously it'll be linked below, but it is so good. So blendable. I'm just in love with it. It's worth the money. Yeah, I think it was like It was pricey for sure But the I feel way like it's not a lot of product. It's mm, I don't know. Decent. I don't know. Could be more, but whatever. By the way, I use this highlight this well, by the way, I use this as my highlight on my cheeks. I always highlight here, ab right above my brows, above my lip, and then a little bit on my nose. With this Anastasia brush. I wonder if I still sell this. The A23. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, <laughs> today's going to be an expensive day. <laughs> yeah, we We're are about to do some to go hard on the Black Friday shopping after. That's like... It really annoys me that stores open on Thanksgiving. I hate yeah. that. But I love that, like, online, I feel like they start. And so it's kind of fun They've to, like, all already started, eat. basically, online. I know. I can't believe how many stores have already started their Black Friday. Like, Princess Polly, White Fox, Loving Tan. I placed the order on Loving Tan last night because I really needed fake tan. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario master pigment pro pencil and the perfect brown hopefully this is back in stock i know this is like always out of stock but i just line my upper waterline to make my lash line look fuller because i don't do eyeliner it doesn't flatter me and i obviously have really full lashes right now i feel like the camera's not picking up like the makeup oh like the skin is really giving but i feel like it's not Picking up. It'll all come together in the end. That's true. It always does. You know, I'm gonna do my eyebrows with as always. I've like been so loyal to this eyebrow pencil. 
this is the NYX brow pencil and tote. My voice sounds so weird because I've been like kind of sick. I know I'm getting sick too. Maybe uh, like I sound really nasally and like gross. So no, sorry if my voice is like nails on. This top. bronzer is also one of my all-time faves that I always go back to. It's the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. It's just the most beautiful shimmery bronzer it just looks so gorgeous over a cream contour i think any hoosies also abby and i have been kind of working on something and we're kind of scared actually we're really scared not Super gonna lie scared. we are really scared and talking about it i don't know if that's good to be this scared like is it a good thing or is it are we already like like is our subconscious already thinking we're gonna fail i think oh. it's a good scared for sure but yeah i mean there's always that chance of failure but at least we're trying and we will know you know like if we never try we'll never know and it's something that i've been wanting to do for years and years and i've talked about it and thought about it and researched it and it's always found an excuse to not do it but yeah. in 2023 we're we're gonna do it we're gonna launch it and we have it in the works we're waiting for our samples and everything but we're just scared okay we're scared. Um, it's i'll just say what it is it's not like it's a huge secret we actually haven't told really anybody about it but we are starting a clothing line and it is going not to be really a clothing it's line. not really clothing i guess it's like a loungewear, loungewear a loungewear line you guys know how much we love loungewear and we just feel like we want to make our own like we always wear it and especially white fox we wear a lot of their loungewear but and we love their loungewear we love their loungewear but, but there's we, things that we want to change and there's things that we wish that we could do and some ideas some designs that we have that we really want to well, try and bring to life yeah every single person's gonna have their own particular like mm -hmm. preferences when it comes to loungewear and logos and you know fit and feel we're just so really excited to be able to use our creative like our creative side because abby and i do have a good eye for detail and things like that um so i i feel like i have a good eye for detail but abby i'm does. not i'm not as like i don't come up with ideas easily that's what i'm scared of like will i will i not come up with things because i'm a very visual person i need to see something to be inspired so, yeah and i don't want to have to copy people but like my mind doesn't come up with things naturally I feel like mine kind of does. I think that it's okay to like use little things from each like thing that inspires you or whatever. Yeah. And blend it together. Because I feel like a lot That's of brands. That's a lot of brands. brands. Yeah. Yeah. They take inspo and whatever. And if you wait it for or if you wait for it to be perfect, it'll never it'll never happen. There's not gonna be like we're just gonna kinda have to throw ourselves in there and obviously we're gonna make sure that it's that we're very proud of what we release, but we also know that it's gonna be a learning curve and we're just really excited to start something new but if you guys are watching this right now and you can give us a little reassurance <laughs> yeah. we would really appreciate that we need, we need your guys' like support and motivation this is an expensive investment very expensive um, and i'm kind of shitting my pants like a little so we need some reassurance, besties, please. Tell it's, us that it's a good idea and that you guys are excited and will buy a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, please. I mean, obviously, we're not expecting all of you to buy our stuff, but it would be so cool to create something and see you guys wearing it yeah, that, that we made and that we designed that we're proud of. It would be, like, the coolest feeling ever. Yeah. So that's why I'm and just still super even, excited. Like, I get excited when, like, they buy things that we've just talked about. It's not even our stuff. Yeah, I know. So I can't even imagine like, how it feels if it was our us. brand. Yeah, so I can't imagine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm super excited. But that's going to be probably not until... I don't even know when it's going to launch because we haven't even gotten our samples yet. So It'll be a while. It'll be a while. Probably, yeah. I would say, realistically, like May. Mm, I was going to say, like, March or April. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But okay. I know it's kind of late to come out with headies, but whatever. So, Whatever. Oh my foot is asleep again. Um, I just set my brows in place with the Grande Brow Fill Volumizing Brow Gel. Love this stuff. And you guys, I have to tell you about this blush. This is like the most beautiful blush topper ever. It's what I got in the Sephora during the Sephora sale. It's the it Fenty. Really Emily loves it too. It's mm -hmm. the Fenty Kilowatt. Well, it's technically a highlighter duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And it's just so stunning. 
mm -hmm. it gives your cheeks the most like pretty glow pretty pink glow mm -hmm. uh, first i'm actually gonna brighten my under eyes though with the maybelline banana powder and then this real techniques brush the setting brush i'm just gonna brighten up some spots it's like the best powder i just love this eyeshadow palette i just feel like it's so like stunning mm -hmm. I'm obsessed can you guys tell us what you're asking for for christmas I know we want to do a wish list, and I'm hoping we can do that. We I have know. so many videos we want to do, and not our schedules time. are not colliding well. So. No, and like it's hard when obviously it's hard because I have a kid, and he Tatum doesn't let me film when he's home, so I have to film when he's out of the house, which is very limited. He's only in school for like three hours, so it's just yeah. it's hard. Yeah, but. Sure. We have, yeah, we have a list of vids we need to film. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. No, every, I'm really glad that Abby made me buy this because every time I go to use it, I'm like obsessed. See, it's, it's worth so it. Pretty. It's worth every penny. You can't say it's not. I'm doing my makeup all over the place. I'm going like eyeshadow phase, back to eyeshadow. <laughs> I want you guys to see. I'm going to scoot up closer so you guys can see how stunning this is. Okay, I just mix them, but this one's my favorite right here. Um, the lighter one. But just, you do not need a lot. Just a little tap, tap. And then, oh, I don't know if it's going to show as well, but. You know, I feel like it really doesn't pick up well. Can you guys see that? Can you see the difference? I know I have a highlighter on, but like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> this is probably my favorite, like, purchase in a while. It's so pretty for the holidays, too. Like, if you were Can going to a party, yeah. I want to use that. Oh, I like to pack it on, honestly, though. <laughs> oh, it's so it's done. You guys see that? It's um like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in powder form. Is that? No, not Pillow Talk. Pink Gasm. Oh, that was... Oh. I'm telling you, it's a lot. It's pigmented. Oh, snap. That really um, accentuated my... Mole? Acne right there. Oh. No, I just have acne around my mole right there, too, for some reason. Oh. Which is just annoying. Like, you did not have to come through. Um, yeah. So, we've been getting kind of more comments recently than we have in a while about, like, filler. And what we've done to our face. So, I think quickly, I'm just going to say everything that we've got done we to our face. I think we need to do a video. No, I think oh, we need to do a video. because You think we should? Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll do a video dedicated. But are we actually? Because we always say that. We need to we because... Up. I think we need to because it's an easier place for people to find it when they come to our page if they want to like hear us talk about it. Okay. Fine. But, have, but I will say one thing I regret. One thing I don't like. I could just say that. I hate my smile line filler. Yeah. So much. On this side, it is so bad. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but I swear it's like a rope and it protrudes. I think she missed the line. <laughs> I think she went too far over on this side. This side is fine, except for I do have like a ball right here where the needle entered. And that annoys me. But it's mostly this side. I, it's not cute. Okay, well, I'll say one thing I regret okay. is my chin filler. Yeah. So much. I, I knew you wanted shouldn't have got out that. of my face. I was like, why the hell are you getting chin filler? You do not need chin filler. Well, I thought it was like facial rebalancing because I got like um, jaw filler and like I just said do whatever to my face because he had the eye for it and it, I don't think it's necessarily his fault it's only on one side because I sleep on this side of my face my bad side is like droopy like this eyebrow is lower which I get a lot of comments about <laughs> which I know this eyebrow is a lot lower I never noticed in this one people are so critical this eyelid is a little droopier and this side of my chin now is a little messed up I think from me sleeping on the filler <laughs> mm -hmm. over there that's the one the one thing that I deeply regret, but um, I'm going to reach out to him and I'm sure he'll dissolve it because he's done our under eye filler. He does our Botox. He does an amazing job. We love his Botox. I love our under eye filler. Mm -hmm. But that chin filler. I don't, it's only on that side. On this side, it's fine. On this side, not cute. I wonder if the smile line thing then too, is it just because I sleep on? I don't know yeah, what side I sleep on. Because I got smile line filler too and I don't mind it at all, but I don't think it really did anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything, so... I just want it to go away. <laughs> I keep like I keep like pushing it down every night. Like 
I, I'm always like pushing it, trying to like make it go down, but because it kind of protrudes a bit. Yeah. Anyways, I just um went under my waterline with this um tiger's eye. It's like a warm brown. I don't know. I, I always use this one for underneath my eyes when I'm sure it's in a lot of palettes. I'm sure I could find something in the Patrick Tall. But you know when like you just love a certain shade and nothing seems to compare? That's the shade for me. Oh my, I really wanted to try this. Everyone's been raving about this like space cowboy from Urban Decay. But I already put gold all over my lid. But it's so pretty and shimmery. I'll just watch it for you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell it's not like too pigmented just gives you that like wet look almost hold on i mean you probably do need a wet brush to really get the full effect you can kind of see it better there but it's so pretty maybe i'll just dab it and then for my inner corner i just mixed these two shades it's like a really light matte white and then a shimmery like champagne color i like mixing a matte and a shimmer and then I kind of just put it on my eyebrow bone. Okay, that's actually pretty. Can you guys tell? Can you see? Yeah. I just added a really nice pretty sparkle. This would be really pretty for like New Year's too. Now I'm going to set with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. This is my new favorite setting spray. I feel like it's hairspray for your face looks like hairspray it looks like hairspray it kind of sprays like it too but i swear it makes your makeup last so much longer i'm actually obsessed with it and it's very affordable okay so we just did our lips off camera and we're gonna tell you guys what lip combos we use um i used the nyx line loud lip pencil in global citizen and then i was gonna use the milani lavish lipstick um, which is kind of like a dupe for Child Star, but I didn't feel like going downstairs to get out of my purse, so I did end up using Abby's Child Star. And then um, a little bit of the Anastasia Haze in the center, and then just a touch of this um, NYX lingerie clear gloss, just to add a little bit of moisture because my lips felt dry, so they were not looking too hot with just the matte lipsticks. <laughs> Mine's matte, but I used four things. First, I lined with KKW Nude 2. I'm so sorry. Once again, I just can't find anything that compares. She's to coming this. back with it, so it's fine. Is she? She's bringing them back. When she did she bring back her beauty line? When did she announce? She already announced this like two weeks ago. Really? She's bringing back her beauty line. Show me the proof. Okay. I don't believe this. I'm so excited. Then, Too Faced Child Star, you guys, this can like this sometimes stocks on Nordstrom um I got always, Nordstrom Rack too yeah so look on Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack because I've been able to buy even more backups yeah I have so many I'm ridiculous <laughs> I have like six backups that's gonna last me like and the fact that they're on six sale years. like when they're posted on there they're usually on sale for like yeah twelve dollars so but, yeah yeah then Sephora nude blush in the center then over top of that, the Anastasia Haze, just to like kind of um, bring a little bit of like a sheen to my lips, but they're still very matte. Let's give them yeah. a close up, Yana. Of the lips? Oh, just of the whole look. Okay. I mean, hold on, let me see. <clears throat> I can move this light. These lights have been blinding us. Although I do feel like today was not my best day because my skin is not loving me right now, but you look so much like darker than me. It's but, the um, it's that cream it, contour. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's really pretty. But I feel like now I look at your lips, I don't like my lips. I always do the same when I look more. at your makeup. And I'm like, I like Abby's makeup better. Uh -huh, I feel like you, your makeup looks better this time. But I love this eyeshadow too. Yeah, it's pretty. Very pretty, very just glowy, natural glam. Yeah, you're more, maybe that's what it is. You're more glowy. Yeah, I am glowy. I really. What, what do I need then? I put highlighter on can my you, nose. Can I see your hourglass bronzer, please? Maybe I need that. Yeah, I've been using some shimmer products. Give me that. Maybe I need that. I don't honestly hate when my hair is freshly done. I just got it done 
Two I days ago. Too. And I hate when it's super fresh. I hate it too. I feel like it's, it's two just... weeks after your hair appointment is when it's the best. Yeah. So right now, I'm not loving the hair. I know. I'm getting mine done really close to Christmas. And I'm like, hopefully, I don't hate it. Yeah. I don't know why. It just like needs, I don't know. The toner needs to come out and I just need to use my purple shampoo that I like. <laughs> yeah, the toner never compares to yeah, the toner I almost not. wish they would just use purple shampoo to tone it, but I don't know if that's obviously probably not as like, it probably doesn't secure it as well or it something. It just looks warm, a little warm. I want it to be a little bit more ashy. Is that but better? It's a little better. Yeah, okay, well that is the finished look. We are gonna wrap this up because we are running behind as per usual. So we really hope you babes enjoyed this little get ready with us. Sorry again if it was hard to follow, but everything will be linked in the description in case we forgot to mention something because we're notorious for forgetting to talk about what we use. But um, if there is anything that you have a question about that we used, like shade or whatever, just ask in the comments. We'll do our best get to back get back to you. To you. We've been trying to respond to as many comments as possible, but we have been missing some here and there because we've been getting kind of a lot of comments, which makes us so happy. So yeah. happy, but we're having a hard time responding to all of them. So we hope you guys don't get upset if we don't respond to you. They but don't, we yeah, appreciate we everyone who leaves a comment. I love reading the comments. Yeah, we do too. We appreciate everybody. That's mm -hmm. like, cause I know I'm a, I'm a silent watcher. I don't really comment on a lot of people's videos, uh -huh. but even though I love them and I love watching them, I never really leave comments. Sometimes yeah. I will, but. Mm -hmm. Not often. Same. So we appreciate you guys who go out of your yes. way to comment. We love you. Even if you don't comment, we love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We are so thankful for each and every Seriously. one of you guys who watch our videos, who, you know, support us in anything we do and post. I have a hair on my nose. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We hope you babes enjoyed this little chatty get ready with us. Yes. And we're excited to chat with you guys in the comments. Okay, babes, we will see you very soon on our next one. XOXO, XO, XO, Midnight, Midnight Twins. Twins.